Um, so this morning I saw a GIMP tutorial and I thought it was really interesting and I decided to try to do this, like to use this on Canon Live. So I'm gonna do the GIMP part but not like pretty fast, I'm just gonna show you the parts that I did differently from the tutorial and I'll link this in the description so you can check it out. making the layers uh, to be the size of the image. It's in layer... I'm doing this with both layers right now. When on the tutorial, I think he does it later, after he moved it. I can't show any further for this, because the next part is something in filters and you don't have it, like it's in shadows, and you don't have it on 2.8. So now, um, like this is the end of the project from the other tutorial. And I'm gonna cut it, so I need a cut line, because else it doesn't really make sense, you know? So I'm gonna create a new layer that's transparent, and take my pen and have the smallest brush possible. And I'm going to hide the bottom layer, which is that one. And I'm going to go here. And then I'm going to move all the way to here with shift. Uh, with shift used so you can make a line, a straight line. And then I'm going to take the eraser and erase everything that isn't actually something that you got like here, you know, like in the middle here. Okay, and then like you can see there's still parts missing. So still with my same one brush in black on the same layer, I'm gonna make a line from here to the bottom here and do this for every letter okay we're good so then i have like this thing and now since i'm gonna cut it with a laser thing kind of i'm gonna use <laughs> the neon thing the only issue is that, I don't know why, it isn't in 2.10. So it works great because I'm on 2.8 right now, but I don't know how to do it on 2.10. Okay. Make a new layer. Uh, take a big brush, hard, hardened one, and make a line that's 45 degrees, like following the checkers button. Like this. And then I'm gonna use the alpha to logo, I don't know, thing, Nyan. And this in red, because lasers are red, I know lasers can be any, any color, but I'm gonna do a red one. And yeah, yeah. I don't know why they removed it in the new one. I'm just gonna remove the background. And then I'm gonna <laughs> erase the part that I don't want, which is like shit. Where am I? All of this. So I'm gonna erase it on the first layer and on the second layer. And then it kind of does look kind of weird, the, like the ends. So I'm gonna take the eraser and lower the opacity. And like erase bits of it and more and more, I guess. So 
So I'm taking this and gonna go from here to like here and it's gonna make it like better and on both layers again. I could have like put the two layers together again before but well. Okay, that's good. Uh, I'm just gonna now export every single part by itself. So, um, first the top part. Well, it's already exported for me, so I'm not gonna do it, but you need to export like the top and the gradient one, the bottom one as well, and then you need to export the line, like the cut line one. And then also export the laser and then you're gonna go on canon live and drag everything you have four things so you need four layers so you can insert a track first is gonna be your top let's make it about five seconds then it's gonna be your laser Then it's gonna be your cut line. Oh. Then it's gonna be your bottom layer. And then your top line. Oh my god, I'm so annoyed. Okay. It kind of looks like what we want. But you don't want the cut line from the beginning. So you're gonna have to use some effects for this. And you also want the laser to move. So first we're gonna make the laser move. Use transform. You drag it onto the laser and so at the beginning you want it to be like I don't know I don't want it to be even here you know so I'm just gonna put it here center and then to the last frame where it's gonna go I don't know about maybe this nope more you know like you do it any way you like. So I'm gonna want like the line to appear with the laser. So I'm gonna take rotoscoping, add it to the line, first make a random little square and put this on minimum. So for some reason, like now that I'm editing it, I see that sometimes only one frame every like three seconds was second by the recording thing. So I'm just gonna show you again quickly so this morning the letter also thing. A GIMP tutorial. Shut up. Um so um about the letter you want the line to move with the laser, but right before it leaves the letter, like with only one frame, the whole line should appear. So you need to make things on the rotoscoping like you need to make steps and before the end of every letter make all of the line up here. It's not really clear. I hope it is like cut. If I show you on here, not here, like here. You know like I have a lot of keyframes and that's, this is the end of every letter like this and then it shows here. So yeah. I'm gonna do it like fully again because I'm too lazy for this. I'm just gonna show you for the last one because I think you do need to see something that I'm, I'm gonna remove the last two. So I'm here and then I'm moving until the laser arrives at the end of the letter and I'm making a keyframe. Then I'm moving the mask until the la like until the, the laser cuts the letter. And then for the keyframe, I will move it until like all the line shows. So nothing in the end as recorded. This is great. So I'm gonna show you the last part, which is the two layers need to separate the two parts of the letters. So you're gonna use transform. You can just look for it in FX. Drag and drop it on the clips, and then. Um, at the end of where the laser like is leaving the letters, you're gonna make a keyframe. Then a few keyframes later, like two or three. 
you're gonna move it. So I chose to move it up by 48. This is totally random. Then you're gonna copy and paste the effect onto the other layer. And add a minus here, so it's kind of symmetrical, you know? And then both will, I don't know, move like this. You can also maybe smooth out this, I don't know. Is it better? I have no idea. And this is so laggy, like, yeah, I don't think I would even see a difference. But you can do this. Yeah. And this is it. I'm like, this thing is not made to record for so long, I don't know. But I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you understand, because this was kind of weird. And please tell me what you'd like to see next.